There are certain shapes that would be incredibly expensive and impractical to create with conventional machining. With 3D printing, we can make exactly what we need and use it in our satellites. Our company, TRL Space, provides a complete solution. We offer clients everything from designing the entire mission to building the satellite, launching it into orbit and then handling its operation. We use 3D printing not only for prototyping, which has proven to be extremely effective, but also to save on costs. It is much cheaper to print a test part than to have it immediately machined from aluminium. We also use a special material that we co-developed with Prusa Research. With it, we print parts that are used directly in the satellites flying into orbit. This ESD material is affordable, lightweight and its quality is so high that it's ready for the harsh environment of space. What makes this material so interesting to us is that unlike most plastics, it isn't an electrical insulator. This is critical for space applications. It has low outgassing properties and while it does build up a static charge, it allows that charge to safely dissipate to where we need it to go, preventing it from damaging sensitive electronics. The biggest advantage is that we can print parts on a standard desktop printer right here in our lab and they are immediately ready to be installed in a satellite. No special surface treatments or long manufacturing processes are needed. And as we know, conventional machining creates a lot of waste. To machine these components traditionally would be unbelievably expensive and frankly would make no sense. With 3D printing, we create only what we need and it goes right into the satellite. We mainly print what are known as secondary and tertiary structures. These are things like custom designed support brackets and specialized holders. Producing every single one of these unique parts with conventional methods would be very complicated, whereas a 3D printer is perfectly suited for this kind of rapid production. For example, we print thin wall components, like protective casings. Machining these from a solid block of aluminum would be extremely costly, both in time and in wasted material. By printing only the final shape we need, the entire process is far more efficient. Here in my hand, I am holding the structure of a CubeSat sized 1U. Even satellites as small as this one can fly in space. With just a few small adjustments, this could be used as a complete satellite frame, made almost entirely from 3D printed parts. The only metal here are the screws holding it together. Everything else is printed from our ESD material. Beyond our role as a systems integrator, we are always trying to develop our own products and push the boundaries of the space industry. And this new material is a perfect example of that.